make sure I was safe. I had my dad who was still involved in gangs and kind of in and out of my life growing up. So right then and there, it was either two ways to go, follow him or all my cousins that's game banging, you know, getting shot at or doing the shooting or landing in jail. Right there, I was just like, I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I didn't like the smell of the alcohol. I didn't like the smell of the weed. But they was my family. I loved them. But, you know what I mean? I was just like, I, I don't want to do that. I don't know how it clicked. Maybe it was God, honestly, and my mom praying. But I didn't want to do it. So I was looking up to me. And I got plenty of kids down there in Manchester Park that's looking up to me every time I come home. And it's hard for me to just talk to them and just tell them something to keep them motivated because they hear that every day. So I, I usually kind of give them an act of love. So I'm always coming home with a duffel bag, headed to the gym, ready to just load them up with gear and it's not because i'm just up and i'm and everything is going good for me but i know like if you faithful with the little you know you be faithful with much so it's just like i just try to show them some love central los angeles so not too many people uh excel from that place and i wanted to be a positive image and i'm still working toward that point you know where i can be looked at as you know he is a definition of made it this is possible it can happen i just felt man um, i'm fun I can get serious when it's time to get serious and lock in. And if we out having fun, we having fun. But everyone this is sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about this cold case of this young man that was taken far too young back in 2015 his name is Wendell Lee jr. I came to find out about this story from vice sports who did a very great job about highlighting what happened to this young man and he had a friend Brian Johnson, who also showed up in the Vice Sports documentary that did several interviews. So you could see how wonderful of a young man he was. So I'm going to link all those videos in the description. So I've been watching, you know, different stories that have happened to young athletes that have gone too quickly the first one that i watched was um brian potter um this was like an old case and his case recently um they recently got a suspect and ever since then i've always been getting you know how youtube is they keep on serving up stuff that you got uh, if they see you watched it and you watched the whole thing they're gonna keep on sending it to you so i've been watching you know what happened to different athletes football players you know basketball players but this story for some reason this story of this young man just i mean just touched my heart i mean it just grabbed a hold of my heart. i don't know why and it was so hard to do this story i literally cried like i knew him like it just happened but this he He's been gone from since um, September 22nd of 2015. But this story really touched the deepest parts of my heart for this young man. How his life was cut short. And as I sit and listen to the documentary that Vice did, Vice Sports did, what's left is a lot of pain and a lot of questions unanswered questions that needs to that needs to be answered basically you know how and you could see he was such a great I mean such a great young man um, striving to do the right thing and then his life was taken out his life was taken out and we'll be when when the truth comes out you'll be surprised why and of course, no, one, number one reason why is because of jealousy. But when I cover stories, I try to learn, you know, try to teach different lessons. 
one thing I can say, um, we are as black community because I'm black. We sometimes are our own worst enemies because this young man was part of the black community and he was so afraid to stay in his community because he has seen what his community, what we do to each other, what we do to each other. We, we could say, oh, it's the white man, it's the this, it's the Hispanics, but we are our own worst enemies. When we see one, uh, uh, somebody has a talent, somebody's child has a talent, most people will support you and, you know, push you. But then you have that one because they can't do it or because they can't reach in the height that you are. They eliminate you. And another thing that we do also is until it, until it hits home, we know of certain things that have happened. We have information on certain cases that could be solved. There are many unsolved cases involving black children, black young men, black young women that could be solved because many of us know who the perpetrator is, who the suspect is. We don't say anything until it hits home. Not saying that this is what his family is doing, but this is what happens. Many cases can be solved because we know. We know who who did it. We know who did it, but we never say anything. And then the questions keep on piling up and piling up. Though this will never, you know, when eventually they get whoever did whoever did this, whoever was, was responsible for this, this will never bring him back. And it probably will never give them the closure that they're looking for. You will get somewhat of a closure, but you know that person is still missing and that that, that wound is, and they say time heals all wounds, not all the time. Because as time goes by, when you see, you know, he was supposed to be this age, he was supposed to be this age, he was supposed to be doing this, he was supposed to be married, he was supposed to be doing this. So time sometimes make it make it even worse. But at least when they find this person, whoever the, this person is or whoever these person are, it will bring a type of closure, I would say, a type of closure. But sometimes we got to stop this in the black community. You know, it's when it hits home, that's when you say, oh, we got to say something, you got to do this. No, we have to start. Start by telling what you know. You know who, who 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 took out Lil Ray. You know who took out um um Susan. You know who took out Letitia. You know who took out Samantha. You know who took out um Brian. Say something. Because let me tell you, somebody knows who was responsible for this young man. And like I said, this story really touched the deep part of deepest part of my heart and stuff don't move my heart like that but this young man and then he was so talented he was a talented basketball player because he put in you can see god gifted him even though he know he was gifted but he he put in the work to perfect his gift and like the bible says your gift shall bring you before great men it will make a way for you and it didn't make a way for him, but somebody decided that to take him out for whatever reasons. <sighs> this really, really hurt. I mean, I cried for hours after hearing this young man's story and how he was just taken out for what. And as you see um, in the when the eclipse the young lady that he was with they only shot him they didn't um they didn't she, she didn't get hurt so you know that whoever this person was whoever did this they was after this young man they was after to take him out and it's a lot of hurt and a lot of blaming going around and you, you have to understand the family they are in pain they lost this young man who God, because uh, you know, some people, some, uh, some kids, some people, God placed in the family, they are going to be the um, curse breakers. Some people are the curse breakers, curse breakers, the wealth makers in the family. 
God placed them um, as in that in a certain area. That's how they was going to bless their family. So the family is hurting and in pain. The friends are hurting and in pain. And they just they just want to know what happened. That's all. That's all it is. They just want to know what happened. But like I said, I saw I went I was watching Bra the Brian Potter um story and after fifteen years they finally got a suspect and he is in jail waiting to be tried because you know you, you are proven in you are innocent until proven guilty. But it was one of his teammates that is alleged to have done this. And it took 15 years for them to arrest him. I wouldn't want this to take 15 years. I wouldn't want this to take 20 years. But this, this happened in 2015. So it's been like, it's going to be seven years. It's going to be seven years if in September coming up. And I think his birthday, he was, he was born, he was born on February the 18th. And I remember he did say he was a God-fearing, he believed in God. He was a God-fearing um, young man. Lord, I don't know who this person is. But one thing I know, we are not built as humans to take another person's life. We are not built as that. So I know one thing I'm sure of, that whoever did this, from since the night that you decided to do this, you have never had peace. You have done everything that you could do so that you can forget about this, but you are haunted and you will never have, be able, you will never have peace until you do, until you do what you're supposed to do and confess. You will never have peace because we're not built to, uh, um, to take out each other. We're not built to do stuff like that. But Lord, and I, cause I can't pray for this young man anymore cause he's no longer here, but his family, Lord, I lift his mother and his sisters and his brothers and his father and the, uh, uh, maybe nieces and nephews that he never got to meet. Lord, I lift them before you, Lord, may they find, oh, may they take it day by day because when you lose somebody as and they, they they seem that they were a very close family when you lose somebody in this manner what really i mean you just got to take it one day at a time that's all you got to do and you, you lose a child that wound will never heal all you could do is take it one day at a time and then uh, uh, um enjoy reminisce over the memories that you guys had and cherish those memories. That sometimes that's all you can do. But Lord, I don't know who this person is. I don't know who these people are because it was one. I know the guy who did it, who came out. I know he was on driving, so it had to be a driver, and it had to be another person who did it. So maybe two people, up to two people. But Lord, whoever it is, this is my prayer. I don't know why this boy this young man's um story touched me i don't know why but lord wherever this person is whatever uh, 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 whoever may know lord may may it be revealed may this case be solved may they find these people who did this may they find this person who did this to this young man Lord, we can't. I can't do it. The family part, they can't do it. The sh the uh, um the sheriff, they can, they the the police department, they doing as much as they can. That's why I have the picture to contact the sheriff the department. But Lord, you said a lot of things will be revealed in twenty twenty two. Only you, Lord, knows exactly who these people are. May this case be solved by your doing, by your power. Lord, place the detectives and the, uh, um, um, the police that's going to work diligently to solve this case. 
so that at least the family can have somewhat of a closure because yes even though they when they whenever they get the suspect thank you lord but i will never bring this young man back ever again lord do it for the family do it for your glory lord do it because he said he was a man of god reveal who this person is in jesus name and many times in these cases you'll be surprised who the person behind this the person who did this who that person is most of the time it could be two scenarios most of the time they um you know after the the incident happened then you never see them again they never pass by you may you may not even suspect them but they just distant and sometimes they infiltrate themselves in everything they with the family they still talk they still laugh and stuff but eventually you know they drift off of course but most of the time you won't ever the person who's responsible for things like that you won't ever suspect them ever that's why certain things has to be revealed so this story was so sad and oh so i just you just you, you just can't never forget a story like this and i hope hopefully you guys never forget this story but keep the family keep his mother and all of his family in your prayers so that i could take it one day at a time so thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video bye